Hi, this is Alex, and in this video, we're going to be unboxing the Coolance RP1000BK. This is a reservoir and pump, and this is the black version, so it matches the uh, custom computer case that I have. And this is basically a drop-in unit that fits into a five and a quarter inch drive bay, uh, so you can do all of your uh, cooling needs uh, inside of your machine. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Well, there's a document here, a user's manual on how to use it, all the different, uh, all the different tools you need, and the actual unit itself, and how to connect it, and so on. So, very useful manual. And here's the actual unit. As you can see, it, uh, it looks like a standard five and a quarter inch uh, device, like a CD-ROM or, or something of that nature. And let's take it out of its protective shell. Okay, so here in the front, um, looks very nice here. It has a little cool ants insignia and a couple of LEDs that are obviously turned off right now and it has this uh, reservoir tank measure to show you how uh, how much water is in the unit on the side here there is the actual reservoir where the water will be and you can fill it up here with this little screw on the back uh, it looks like there's a uh, an in and an out this is where water tubes will go and the actual nozzle connectors will go in. And uh, this is the power connector to the actual pump which is inside. There are three temperature sensors, one, two, and three. There's two fan controllers and there's a standard Molex four pin power connector. And that's pretty much it. Nothing on the back, nothing on the sides. And uh, I guess this concludes this portion of the video. Stay tuned for, oh wait, there's, uh, there's more. So here is some uh, cable, special cable with some connector tips and this particular connector you attach to two specific po uh, ports on the motherboard and it will make the motherboard appear to be on to the power supply. And the purpose of this is so that you can run the unit and have all of the water be flowing through the system without the computer physically on. This is very important the very, very first time you turn this unit on. And this will ensure that all of the water that's flowing through the computer is actually flowing perfectly and you don't have any leaks. That's the last thing you want is to have some water leaks while your computer is on. So that's really about it. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, subscribe and you'll see some more upcoming videos.